What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tame Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday. We are going to go over the Raichu Gold Bat deck that made top 32 at Orlando Regionals two weekends ago. And it was actually powered by Matthew Brower. So let's go over the deck and let's see what it's about. Now, we play 4 4 Raichu because that is your main attacker. It has the attack Circle Circuit. This deck does 20 damage, times the number of your bench Pokemon. So if you have 5 bench Pokemon, you do 100 uh, You do 100 damage. If you have 8, you do 160, which is pretty much not a knockout on any of the EXs right now, which we'll go over that in a second, why, why, how we hit those numbers. And of course, for Pikachu, now we played this Pikachu. Matthew actually said because we play this Pikachu because of agility, it does 10 damage. Flip a coin if heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Now, I know some people do use the Nuzzle Pikachu, which if you watched the video of Matthew Power playing in the uh, in the Orlando stream, I'll leave a link down below where he plays against a Vileplume box deck. You haven't seen that. It's a pretty interesting match. But agility, you know, your opponent can't evolve out of it. They can't switch out of it. They can't do anything. While as Paralyzation, they can evolve out of it. He said he's scared of Megas, and Paralyzation will not help him out that much. Where as agility does help out. It's so much better. Uh, three Shame to help set up, get six new cards in your hand. One Mew for another attacker for versatile. You can use the attack of any Pokemon play, both yours and your opponent. If you watch the video of the Valpham box deck, you'll see how amazing that Mew is. Uh, one one Bayonet's line. Now the Bayonet does have the ability Tool Concealment. Each Pokemon Tool in play has no effect, which is pretty much amazing. It shuts down like Fighting Fury Belts. It shuts down Spirit Links. And Megas are pretty much a big staple in this game, so Bayonet could put your opponent in a bad situation where if they try to evolve their turn ends thanks to Bayonet. Uh, four four Golbat. Now the Golbat is how. We're going to do that additional 20 damage. Like I said, we can have eight bench Pokemon because Skyfield. I don't think I said anything about Skyfield, but when you have Skyfield out, you can do up to you have up to eight bench Pokemon, and then times times 20 is uh, 160. Then with the Gold Bat, you can do sneaky sneaky bite, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon, and that way you can do 180 damage to hit those crucial numbers. Now he does play two Devolution Sprays, so evolve one of your Ball Pokemon, and put it the highest evolution in your hand back into your back into your hand, so that way you can. Put the Golbat back at your hand. Put it maybe on another Zubat because you can't use it the same turn yet. That Pokemon can't evolve this turn. But you can make it where you get the next turn. You can evolve back into Golbat, which is really nice. Uh, for Love Ball, search deck for Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Such so Pikachu, Raichu, uh, Shelbet, Bayonet, Golbat, or Zubat, and Golbat. The only Pokemon you can't get out is Shaman and the Mew. One or people all to search your Pokemon. Uh, so you search deck for Pokemon with the same name as one of your Pokemon to play. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. One special charge, shuffle three, two, shuffle two. I was going to say three, but it's two special charge cards from just gonna pile back into your deck. One super rush, shuffle three, poke, uh, three in any combination of Pokemon, back and blah, 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 blah. shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic your cards from just gonna pile back into your deck. Uh, four trains, well, four Ultra Ball, four VSC can pretty much staples in all of our decks nowadays. Now, he did play one Karen, which says each player shuffles all Pokemon from the discard pile back into your deck. And this is how you can get back with the Skyfield. Like, your opponent can, like, uh, like basically bump your Skyfield to Denver Stadium, but then but then you can carry and put a Pokemon back at your deck and put your own Skyfield down to be A-OK, -okay, which is pretty nice. Get all this Pokemon back at your deck is always great. Uh, two Life Center, two in, and four Sycamore. We need to draw as quickly as we can to get a bunch of Pokemon down to do maximum damage. And of course, four DC. And actually, Matt, he went over a bunch of reasons why he actually wrote this really nice support. And I'm going to read it real quick. I know it's going to be in just a second, uh, but he said, This is the list I built for Raichu Bass, that guy in the top 32 in Florida. I used to run two Bridget, which you actually don't see Bridget anymore. His brother, Nathan Brower, convinced me otherwise to run a fourth level and literally anything else, which he turned into her people. I definitely got my money's worth out of those changes. So hats off for his advice. Uh, one thing to know, uh, one thing to know is that you cannot reuse Golbat with Devilish Ray, which I talked about a second ago. Uh, so if your stadium is ever plays with Parallel City, feel free to discard them at will. This is, ironically enough, the easiest way to reuse Golbat, as you may carry them a Super on back to your deck and use them once more. So if you're, if you're if your state is being bumped and you have to discard Pokemon, uh, you can maybe opt to discard this gold bat so that we can reuse them for the following turn. If you do super auto carry them back to your deck, and believe me, there will be parallel cities. Yes, there's a ton of parallel cities. Uh, they happen all the time within this game. A lot of decks do play them. Uh, Raichu does 160 damage at maximum, meaning you have to use gold bat to hit 180. Uh, if you have to come across a five, a fury built to Pokemon, you have to be fine because you had the bayonet to shut down tools. You run zero tool cards. Uh, you have no risk of getting the Batman value out of the. Uh, 
No risk of getting the Batman villain out of even if you don't think you need it. Okay, so yeah, uh, you run zero tool cars, um, so you have no risk of getting the Batman villain out even if you don't think you need it. Uh, so yeah, you, you, I think you always want to get, he, he calls Batman villain, so I guess he called Bay, Batman, uh, Bane at the Bat, Batman villain. Uh, but I mean, there's no reason you should not get out Bane at. It's so good, like, you just shut down tools. Uh, any tools to play, you always get rid of them, which is really nice. Uh, the, the matches are as follows. Gyarados. Uh, it's the easiest matchup ever. You evolve Go Bat to take free prize cards priest to take free prize cards off a of magic carp. Then you can carry the active Gyarados wipe the out of any carp or Gyarados. If it comes worse, you can use Super Cross to Go Bat. If you don't know, Go Bat has attack Super Cross. It does ten damage to each of the Pokemon, so you can just essentially knock out all those uh, magic carps in one turn. Which I think that's a better idea actually, uh, because then your opponent can't really hit you, but then they can like buddy better rescue you back in play. But you can take multiple knockouts at once to go back, which is really nice. Uh, Rainbow Road, it's a very positive matchup. Not only do they bench Joltix, an easy price for go back, you play Bayonet, turn off their EXP shares, even at worst. You're trading attackers with them, but they need three energy attack. You only need those two energy attack. Um, you can easily one shot them with five Pokemon to go back and do 120, which is really nice. Uh, Mega Quaza, it's another auto win. You just need to attack three times, and then you win. Uh, weakness is a very big deal, and so is Bayonet. Plus, they never play Skyfield yet. They're always going to Skyfield out. They could maybe delinquent, but even the delinquent, you could take a knockout. You have five on the bench, 100, uh, with a Zubat, 20 damage. There's 220 to knock him out. So, great, even saw Garbo uh, very positive. You uh, you knock out even saw when they barely, uh, they can throw uh, barely any air fall. So, you can knock out the even saws fairly easy because they're weak to lightning. And dark can be dispatched through early go bad damage and bayonet, uh, which is very nice. Like I said, usually fighting for is a problem, but I mean, you have to worry about the Garbo. Garbo is definitely the key thing to know about. So, if they put down dark you need to put the go out damage ASAP on those um on those dark eyes. Um you two garb this is a coin flip of a match. If you go first, you just stream on Bayonet to prevent them from mega evolving the sweep with Mew. If you can lice it a garb early, there's no way that you can lose. Else, if you go second, hopefully with Trubbish and Mass Mega Evolve, uh, because you're in for a hard time. Uh, so basically it gets Mega Mewtwo Garb. You hope to go first, which, I mean, all matches you kind of want to go first, but you play the Mewtwo counter, the Mewtwo, take a knock on it, and then you try to knock out the guard bonus ASAP, uh, so that way Bayonet can come into play, and you can use your Mew, which is very nice. They can't really hit your Mew for weakness, because your the Mewtwo Psychic Finish is hit for weakness, but they could easily knock you out, because you have base 60 on you already, so they only need three energies on them to knock you out. I only need two energies on knock you out. So maybe Mew is probably not the best way. Uh, but I mean, it's still, it's going to come down to, can you get your bayonets down before he gets the energy, before he gets the garb slash Mega Mewtwo wide down. Uh, Mega, Mar Mega Gardevoir, this is more or less negative. And it's more or less the same as the Mega Mewtwo matchup. The fact they aren't weak to Mew, uh, meaning you can't pressure them if they Mega Evolve. Worse, you have to discard the bench Pokemon regularly. So they can discard the bench Pokemon, make it where you can't knock them out because Despair Ray, you can di di bench, discard any bench Pokemon, which is very bad. Uh, so you can't Lice in it for free Shamans. Uh, nor can you set up damage to Gold Bat. Some of them even play Parallel City, oddly enough. Uh, yet you may still come out with top simply because of Bayonet. Uh, Volcanion, likely positive. I've never really played against the deck, but then again, Bayonet's super good against it because uh, they, they have the, you know, they have Fighting Frills to give them H extra HP, but then, you know, Bayonet shuts it down, which is Amazing. Uh, they essentially need to steam up three times to take a knock on a Raichu you uh, with the baby Volcanion, and because Fighting Fury doesn't work anymore, which is really nice. Even if you're behind, they still bench a lot of Pokemon with the word EX written upon them, so you can license and take a knockout pretty easily. And there you go. That's all the matchups on. Uh, let me scroll down. Out of curiosity, why don't you play Pokemon Ranger versus Giratina? Uh, which I know some people are going to be like, how do you beat Giratina? And this thing says, Ranger will be useless against everything else. Not much sense in hobbling yourself by dead drawing into a Ranger in a matchup where you don't need it. If you face Tina, you can outspeed them, license around it, etc, etc. Uh, so basically, pairing with Giratina, you just got to hope you outspeed them. If they do get a turn one, Giratina, you're probably in a herd of trouble. It's probably the worst matchup. Like, Giratina, just... Making it where you can't play your special energies, your state of cards, anything like that, you're in trouble, uh, which is bad. But like I said, like he said, you could like license or Hoopa or license or Pokemon with the other flow stone, which is really nice. Um, talk about matchups. Okay, okay, let me make sure. And we talk about the other Pikachu. He, he picked the Jelly one uh, just so he can, you know, uh, if they Mega Evolve, you can still not be hurt, which is amazing. Um, let's see. That seems like pretty much it. Now, I did ask him, would you make any changes to the list? He said, I might drop the camera for a super odd. Whereas, it's really fun to say heroes never die. It's a supporter card, and it's difficult to keep drawing cards and what you have when you play the Karen. But that's just me. Karen is good, but I don't know. And this is what I learned. This is what I heard about a lot of people. Like, Karen, it's really good. Like, you shuffle all Pokemon from your Discord pile back into your deck, but then it's your supporter card. You waste your supporter card for turn. You use Karen, and now you can't use, like, a super Sycamore or something like that. So, he might opt to play two super odds. I personally think Karen's still really good. Uh, let's see you Karen, then Ultima for Shame, and you're good to go, which is why it's still keeping the deck. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video introduction. 
I know it's a bit of a long thing, uh, but I really do like that Matt did come up with the, uh, with the like, basically a free article, which is really nice to know of all these different matches. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, we're putting against Diclays, playing a Dark, uh, Psychic, Lightning, and a Water deck. Um, not 100% what this could be. Like, we're in standard, so you can't, like, even tell with water. Like, I don't know what the water is. Like, maybe if water wasn't there, I can, like, definitely call it even tell Garbodor, maybe. Uh, but the water is definitely throwing me off right now. But we'll see. Maybe it's something interesting tech. But we are playing the Raichu Gold Bad deck, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Now, if it is even tall, we can hit for weakness, which is fantastic. Easily knock out those even tall. So, you don't have to worry about them too much. All right, so the Conda Coin Flip. All right, and, uh, wait to see. What would Declaws, Declaws, I guess I say it's, I'm not 100% sure I said his name, as a Mega Mewtwo coin, maybe it's, uh, even if it's like Mega Mewtwo deck, I don't know what, like, the water Pokemon would be, like, on top of my head, like, it could be maybe, maybe a Manaphy, then, I don't know, but, I don't know, I right, call the quick, it, it watch me something I don't, like, it's something easy, I just don't even know off the top of my head right now, so, we're gonna go first, which is fantastic, alright, so we got a Mulligan, press done, uh, there's Fairy Super Rod, okay, so some kind of Fairy deck, maybe Mega Gardevoir, which actually one of our bad match was, like I said earlier, but hopefully we get that turn to uh, Bayonet down. Okay, so we start Zubat. We start Pikachu. I'm going to start Zubat, of course. Uh, put the Pikachu down. And uh, we'll see what happens. We got the Skyfield, Shaman set up, an Ultra Buff or Shup It. Hopefully our Bayonet's not prized, so press done. And let's see what's going to happen here, guys. And there is a Joltik. So it looks like it's going to be a Rainbow Road deck. All right, so put down Skyfield. We will DCE the Pikachu. Ultra Ball, discard the Devolution Spray. And the VS Seeker, and I think we're still going to grab a, a, let's see if they're both in here. Shuppet and Bayonet, I think I'm still going to go for the Bayonet right now. Uh, so grab the Shuppet, put that down, and Shaman set up for six. Hold new cards and see what can we find with this Shaman for six. Alright, now the reason why I'm getting the Bayonet out um, is because our opponent could uh, theoretically play like EXP share, and we don't want them to have that. So Ultra Buddy Square, Golbat and Golbat. I would just got to go back to Skyfield. I match my opponent's only stadium. It's going to be Skyfield. And we'll grab another Pikachu. Put that down the field. And then we'll Shaman set up for four. So go, go, Pikachu. Uh, Shaman set up for four. Okay. Now, the problem is we have a bunch of EXs down. So my opponent can easily knock this out the next turn. There's a Raichu. So I'm just going to pass right now. Uh, we have a Golbat. We have a Raichu. And, oh, wait. We could maybe got another. Oh, we should maybe got rid of Zubat. Because what we could have done is maybe a double Golbat to knock out a Joltik, which is really nice. There's Rimmery, so yeah, definitely going to be some kind of a Rainbow Road deck. Okay, so the Octillery is what he's going to opt to play. So uh, we see Rimmery coming down. We see an Ant. Both players are going to shuffle and get six new cards. Okay, can he find a Xerneas? Uh, can we find that Bayonet to shut down EXP share? That would be the main question. Uh, there's Zubat. Okay, so unfortunately, like I said, if we had got the other Zubat down, we could maybe take a knockout on the Joltik. Take two prize cards this turn. A Fringe going to that guy. Okay. Uh, fair to retreat actually into the Xerneas. Uh, another Xerneas coming down, and we're gonna see maybe a pass from our opponent. So, yeah, uh, so right now we're doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, uh, 120. So, that's enough for the knockout right there. We'll put down right you. We will love ball. And with this, I'm actually gonna put the 20 damage on that Joltik. If my opponent doesn't have a way to, I guess, if he doesn't have a way to, uh, Evolve next turn, we can knock it out, so we'll put 20 damage on that Joltik. Like I said, if we got another Joltik out, we could have knocked it out this turn, but we'll super rod. Uh, gonna shuffle back in the uh, Golbat, and then we'll VS Sycamore for a Sycamore. Wait, do we have Sycamore in the discard pile? Oh, we actually do not have a Sycamore in the discard pile, but we still can take a knockout, so we'll retreat into this guy. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 damage with that Circle Circle to knock out that Xerneas. Alright, so 120 damage, hit the exact number. Now, if it did have 130, we could have put down Golbat, took a knockout, and still be A-OK. -okay. And there's a low ball for another Golbat the following turn, but if he does evolve, I might just go for that Shuppet to shut down, uh, to shut down all the... Uh, all the EXP or stuff like that. Now an opponent's turn to go send to Xerneas. And now he's going to be in trouble. As soon as he pulls up Xerneas, if we drops another Xerneas, so we can license it and bring it up. So he can knock out immediately. He could play maybe Fairy. Uh, not Fairy. He could play Fairy Garden to maybe give his Xerneas free retreat. So both of those are going to show up. I'm going to get five. He's going to be six. There's a Love Ball, a Raichu, a Special Charge, okay? Uh, there's an Octillery coming down. Can use that Bissell Head dropped five cards. There's a Mew coming down, which is, I think we're still. I think we just knock out the active. Well, I guess it depends where he puts his energy. If he puts the energy on the bench, we're definitely licensed him to take a knock on it. If he doesn't, we put down Shaman. No, he's, he's not going to put down Shaman. That'd be crazy. Another Xerneas hitting the field. And uh, let's see, where does he put this energy? So Xerneas coming down. An Abyssal Hand drawn up to five. Or does he even find energy is my question right now. So we can get five cards with that Abyssal Hand. Uh, there's a Talon Map. I'm going to flip over his prize cards. Has one Xerneas prize and a Super Rod, which can be very bad. An Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard two cards from his hand. Discards an Octillery and an EXP share. 
Ooh, let's see, does he have play Shaman or not? Right now, he has not played Energy. There's a Galvantula coming out, which means we cannot knock it out with that Golbat. Oh, man, like I said, we probably should have dug a little bit deeper for a Golbat. And no, just pass on to our turn, which is great. Uh, so we don't write you. And I think we'll just pass here. Um, the, thing, the scary thing is this Galvantula. Galvantula could knock out both Shamans. i uh, take four prize cards, but I think we're going to be okay. We'll start circle, circle for the knockout. Going out of four prize cards. I guess we should maybe grab the Shove It Out. Uh, maybe shut that Flow Stone or something. But Mew coming down, okay. All right, now to our opponent's turn. Let's see. I'm going to set the Mew. Now, he has to play Max. Let's see if we take a knockout. Plays Max Lux, you Max Lux, DC, that guy took a knockout. There's a DC, does he have Max Lux or not? Uh, there's a Delinquent, go discard the Skyfield, and we're going to discard three cards. We discard the Mew, Lysander, and the Ultra Ball. And we'll discard a Shaman off the field, which I'm actually okay with, because now this one less Pokemon is going to be knocked out by the Galvantula. And Bissell Hand going to draw five new cards. Okay, can he find a Max Lux or not for this turn? And like I said, the good thing, he uh, discarded those. Oh, he plays two Super Odds, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, so like I said, we got to discard that Shaman off the field, which means our opponent cannot knock it up with the Galvantula. All right, so see Super Rush, Shelf, and two Fairies, and a Xerneas. It doesn't want to have a Max Luxor or not is the question. Now, I guess we could have maybe kept the Life Center in hand, but I really want to keep that Special Charge and the Love Ball, because the Love Ball can maybe get us a, uh, maybe some more damage on the Galvantula. I mean, the, I don't know. This this 20 damage is not going to matter too much. Uh, we could just, yeah, we'll see what we decide, what we're drawn to. Uh, there's a train to Xerneas, okay, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So what we're going to do now is we're going to love ball for a Golbat. Come to me, Golbat, put 20 on the active, and then we can take a knockout this turn. We're really doing 100 right now, but with the 20 damage from Golbat, we can take a knockout. I'm not sure why he retreated. Definitely, it's interesting. Uh, but we'll end. We'll go down to 4, he goes down to 6. And can we find another DC or not? There's a right you have via Sycamore. Hey, there's a Sycamore finally. We have not played a Sycamore just yet. Uh, so we'll just circle circuit for the knockout. Do it 100 damage to the Xerneas. And go down to 3 prize guards. That 20 damage from the Jolter, or from the uh, go back to be very nice. Uh, go back come into our hand, which is very unfortunate. We will have to discard that. With the Sycamore, unless we top deck a Shaman, then we can maybe put down the Skyfield. Uh, Shaman is set up and take a knockout that way. There's a Parallel City. All right, we're going to discard uh, Shaman. And a Golbat to put down to three cards. Okay, so three cards are three Pokemon on the side of the field, which I'm still okay with. Like, I find it really can't take a immediate knockout. We have a Skyfield, get stuff back in our hand, which is great. Uh, we've held on to the Skyfields. We've played two so far. There's a Fighting Field. Going to the Mew, uh, a Fair Energy. So right now he has 90 HP, but if we find that Shell Pit, we can turn that Fighting Field and take a knockout. There's a VS Secret for an end. Uh, both of us are going to shelf up. I haven't played a Sycamore just yet, so we do have a lot of outs as well. So, and we haven't played a Trainer's Mill either, so both going to shelf up. We'll get three. He gets six. There's a repeat ball, a trainer's mail, uh, and a, a pony yard coming down. Okay. And we'll opponent just pass. Will they go for a double thread? I uh, know we're going to see a counter. We're going to search deck for any Pokemon and put it into their hand. But like I said, if we get that shuffle out, we can take a knockout on this Mew. So a uh, Xerneas coming to their hand. Okay. And on to our turn. What do we find? We find a Pikachu. All right. So a trainer's mail. We'll grab a Sycamore. All right, so grab the Sycamore. Uh, any DCs in our discard pile? I don't think so. I think that's the only DC we played so far. Yeah. So let's Sycamore discard our hand. Draw seven new cards. We have a bunch of outs. Can we at least hit one? And oh, we do not. I think pretty sure. Wait, hold on. Uh, oh, no, Bayonet's in here. So we grab the Bayonet. Put that down. Uh, shut down tools. It'll be A OK. So we'll take a knockout this turn. Go, go, Bayonet. Shutting down tools. And now that Mew should have 50 HP. So 20, 40, 60. And I guess we'll Devolution Spray. Pick up this Golbat as well. Maybe we'll use it next turn. Why not? And then we'll circle, circle for the knockout, doing 20, 40, 60, which is enough to knock out the Mew. And we'll go down to Prius cards. All right, so there we go. Down to two. There's a Zubat for the following turn. And on to my opponent's turn, what do they decide to do here? I mean, they could send a Pontiard, do the 90 damage, but they'll be metal and steel. And they will not take a knock in melee. Here comes Galvantula. All right, so to our opponent's turn. We're going to draw a card. Uh, we have a life in the discard pile. There's a Xerneas coming out, which we cannot knock out just yet. There's a Max Elixir. And can they find a Max Elixir? A DC right now. They found a Max Elixir. Okay. I think we take a 3 6 9 12. Yeah, they're taking a knockout for sure. But can we can we top deck a Skyfield? If we top deck Skyfield, we're pretty much going to take a knockout on that Xerneas, which would be amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, Good. Now Pikachu, Zubat, Golbat, Sycamore, discard our hand. Uh, we do have Karen in the discard pile, but only one of you secret has a blade, so we have two more of those left. And I'm feeling pretty confident because Galvantula is actually stuck in the X spot thanks to Bennett. Uh, Tokar has no effects so that he attached the Flowstone and in that retreat. Uh, did he attach the Fair Energy? I think he just attached the Fair Energy to the active, right? Oop, wrong button. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, so he attached the Fair Energy to Galvantula. So he cannot, yeah, he'll double threat, hit two Pokemon for weakness. He actually knock out the, oh, he's not going to knock out the Zubat. It's only going to do 40, right? 
No, it's gonna do 60, and I got the Zubat. Ooh, spicy. I like that a lot. So, uh, I'm gonna do 30, 20 and 10. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Wait, what? Why didn't I knock this out? Are we resistant? I'm so confused right now. That Oh, wait, Parallel City uh, makes it where his Pokemon do less damage. Grass Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. So, he actually did not take that much. We did not take a knockout because the Parallel City was on his side doing minus. Oh, my goodness. I wasn't sure how the math worked out just right then and there, but that was pretty funny. But there we go. Taking game number one. Uh, I think we, we topped up a... Uh, I think a sh an N maybe? I'm not, uh, no, it looked like a Shaman maybe. Uh, we had two prize cards, 11 opponent had six. There's pretty much no way they're going to win that game. Uh, so we won that game, we would have won that game for sure. And you can see how interesting, like, this is a really interesting matchup, but we did eventually come out. Uh, EXP, sure, you don't have to worry about. You just have to worry about max looks. But we'll see one more game with the right to go by deck here in a second, and hopefully it's another victory. And, like, even though my opponent, like, countered, like, our Skyfield and stuff like that, we're still able to take a knockout. Thanks to the go send those crate, those good numbers. Like, that plus 20 was really cool. And then having that Bayonet down to shut down a fighting field was really nice as well. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second, and we'll see what happens. All right, printing is Hobbs, a 183-2-1, playing a very dark... And a psychic deck could be maybe another rainbow road deck. That's what I have to take a guess. Um, but we'll see what will my opponent my opponent be playing. So call heads up always. And we won the coin, which is fantastic. Because we do need those turns to put down those basic Pokemon. So press yes, we like to go first. And on our turn, let's see what's gonna happen. Alright, so we get a shove it uh trainer's mill. Okay. Uh, two Golbats and two Sycamores. Alright. So, unfortunately, <clears throat> this deck does play Floodstone, so we can't retreat this Shuppet. Bayonet doesn't have free retreat either, so we have to waste a DC on the Shuppet, which is the only downside of playing Shuppet. Like, you, you can't literally do anything if you start with Shuppet, which, I mean, we play, like, four Zubats, four Pikachus, a Mew. We play the three Shamans, and so we started with the one Pokemon we do not want to start with. It's very, very unfortunate. All right, so, uh, press done. And let's see what happens. It looks like they're slight. Okay, looks like they have no Pokemon, and there is a Gardevoir. All right, so we will DC the active Trainer's Mill. We will grab a Love Ball. All right, so with Love Ball, we got a Pikachu. Then we grab a, 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 a use Reap Ball for another Pikachu. All right, so one Pikachu coming down. How many DCs are in here? Okay, th okay, cool. So all DCs are in the deck. So grab Pikachu, put that guy down. Repeat Ball. Is our Bayonet in here? Oh, cool. I'm glad that we started shoving, but Bayonet's not in the deck. Oh, it's fantastic, right? So we got Pikachu. We'll put that guy down, and then we'll Sycamore discard our hand, draw seven new cards. All right, let's see what can we find with the Sycamore. There's a Shaman, Golbat, Zubat. So put down Zubat, and I think we just uh, do we just pass right now? You're just gonna pass onto our opponent's turn. All right, so our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. We can put down Skyfield, DCE, Golbat, Trainer's Mel. If we fill our bench up, we can take a knock on this Guard of War. I was just hoping to find our. Uh... <sighs> Not a Shuppet. Oh, man. Our Bayonet so that we can shut down the Guardian Spear. Like, so Guardian Spear. Go into the active, okay? I don't care about the too much. Not really that much of a threat right now. We can take a knock on it. It only has 170 HP. If we fill our bench up with a Golbat, it's a knockout. So Ultra Ball. Go and discard two cards from Sands. Discard a Mew and a Via Seeker. So Mew being discarded. That's a, I've never seen Mew, okay? There's a Hoopa. Going to use Scoundering. Probably search for three Guard of Wars, most likely. But unfortunately, like I said, we do not have Bayonet in this deck. If we did... We can make it where those links do not count. So, Scoundrel going to search for three EX Pokemon. Hopefully, he puts down, like, a Shaman at least. Like, if we can knock out a Shaman before he... Okay, so, three Gardevoirs. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, so, it looks like three Gardevoirs will come down. But it's still going to be hard for us to knock out this Gardevoir ASAP because we have to find eight bench Pokemon. All right, so, Gardevoir, Gardevoir, Gardevoir. Guard Expeal and go to the bench. Sycamore going to discard the hand, draw set. Oh, he could have played in. I think an in would have had been really bad for us, obviously, because we have a really good hand right now. Energy going to the active, and we'll probably just see a pass onto our turn. Yep, all right, so in our turn, can we take a knockout this turn? So there's a Lysander, okay, so put down Skyfield. We will DC a Pikachu. Put down, oh, hold on, let's train as well first. We'll grab a VS Seeker for a Sycamore. All right, so grab VS Seeker. Yeah, so put that goal back, put 20 onto the active. All right, so we'll, we, get, we could potentially, potentially get a knockout this turn. We'll shame and set up for three. We just got to hope we don't draw to multiple DCs and our special charge. All right, so Zubat in, so put down Zubats. Um, 
You know, I'm just going to dig right now. I'm just going to Via Seeker for a Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. I know we discarded two Via Seekers, but I think we have to try to take a knockout this turn. Uh, because this is going to be a very hard matchup. And oh my goodness, we do not take a knockout this turn. Alright, spin down Mew. Put down Raichu. Yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 will not take a knockout this turn. So we'll trade into the Raichu and we'll be short of a knockout. Oh my goodness. Alright, so instead of Raichu, use Circle Sicker and we'll whiff the knockout. Oh man, only do 120. He has 30 HP left. Oh man, that's very unfortunate for us. Okay. But no, no worries. No worries. No worries, guys. Okay. So there's a, a Mega Gardevoir coming down. If he has a Mega... Okay, there's another Mega Gardevoir coming down. If he can get a energy and mega turbo on this guy, we are in trouble. We have to do 200 damage, which is impossible. Like, we can't do 210 next turn. That's that's crazy, dog. Okay, so, uh, Mega Guardi, there's a Fairy going to the active. So, he's going to take a knockout with this guy. There's an end. We'll both get a new hand of six, but we can take a knockout this guy. He can take a knock on us as well, but I wonder if he'll discard any Pokemon. There's a Shame and an Ultra Ball. Okay, so my plan is to obviously take a knock on the active. But to try to do some damage to that bench Mega Guardi this turn as much as we can. I mean, it's only 20 damage. So 120 damage. Oh, man. All right. So discard the Hoopa, which is probably the great play for sure. Uh, go down to Fire Prize Guards. We'll send the Golbat. And on to our turn. But what can we do? All right. So we get a Sycamore. So we're going to Ultra Ball. Discard the Karen and the Lysander. We'll get out a Raichu. Okay. So grab Raichu. Put that guy down. Uh, play. We're going to treat Devolution Spray. I know this is a weird thing. We should probably have sent the Zubat first, but I forgot we had Devolution Spray in hand. So Devolution Spray, pick up this Golbat. We will put down Golbat. Put 20 onto the Guard where that's already evolved. So we'll put down this guy. We will Seamus set up for four new cards. And we need to find a D. We need to find a DC for sure. That's the first thing, okay? Alright, so no DC, but two Zubats are coming out. So put down double Zubat. We will Super Rod. Shove back in, uh, we'll shove back in one, two, three, and then we'll stick more discard our hand, draw seven cards. Can we find a D? Oh, we actually don't have a shaman either. Oh my goodness, that's a huge misplay on my part. All right, but it doesn't matter, we don't find a knockout anyway. Okay, so we'll put down special charge, we'll shove back in three DCEs. All right, just two DCs, I mean, I'm sorry. All right, so two DCs coming down, and uh, we'll pass. Yeah, that's all we really can do. Alright, so next turn, 2040. We actually can't take a knockout on this side. We can maybe, like, try to sky turn it for a knockout, which could be really interesting, but we do not have way to take a knockout. He's going to knock us out. Oh, man, hopefully he does not send this guy. That's, wow, I forgot we didn't have any spots for Pikachu. That's great to note. Alright, so Super Rock, going to shuffle three combination Pokemon back into the deck. Oh, man, that shuffle being prize is very unfortunate. So Hoopa and Mew come back in their hand, okay? I mean, hopefully they put that Hoopa down because we can maybe copy an attack with Mew, take a knock on it that way. That'd be really nice. Uh, but my plan right now is to maybe Sky Turn with the Shaman to knock out this Guardi. Uh, this Sycamore, we're going to discard his hand, draw seven new cards, okay? Discards a bunch of stuff. All right, so discards two via Sycamore, a Lysander, a Mega Turbo. And what will my opponent do here? There's a, uh, a Skyfoot coming down. I mean, a Fairy Guard coming down. So we're going to discard... Uh, Golbat, um, be a shaman, and the other Zubat. Okay, so discard those. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's the best play we have. So, fair to go to that guy. Okay. And there's a despair rate for a knockout. Okay, so let's see. He has 70 HP left. So we have to do 20, 40. Uh. Yeah, we still haven't. We still can't take a knockout. All right, so send him to Oh, things are bad, guys. Things are terrible right now. All right, so under our turn, we just gotta believe, right? We just gotta believe, sir. Go back. Okay, that's a good top deck. We'll go back. Put twenty on this guy. Actually, let's, let's put twenty on this guy. We'll go back. Put twenty on this guy as well. All right. We'll put down Pikachu and put down Skyfield, and then we'll play it in by putting him on out of four. While we get six, and let's see what can we find with this end. Come on. All right, so we get a love ball. We'll grab that. Grab a Pikachu. So we will love ball for a good old Pikachu. We have okay, no more. Oh, man, let's hope we have another Zubat left. So we'll grab Pikachu. We'll put that guy down. We will shame it. No, we'll put a DC on a Mew and go for a Sky Turn instead of a Golbat, which could be really neat. Oh man, you can put DC on Mew. Um. Shaman set up for three. All right. I got a plan. It's just, I just know. Okay. We, I was hoping to draw into Devilish Spray. That's what I was really hoping to draw into right now. All right. So we'll go for a Sky Turn. No, hold on. Retreat. 
into a Mew, and we'll go for Sky Return. All right, so we'll go for Sky Return, doing 30 to that guy. All right, so he has 40 HP left, and we will send in a Golbat. Yeah, we'll send a Golbat. All right, so my opponent's turn. Let's see. We got it. We got to try how we're going to do this, guys. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? All right. All right, so my plan, what we can do next turn is maybe just circle circle this guy for a knockout. Put down double right you. Uh, there's a fairy guard to that guy. Okay, he has one. Okay, another fairy guard coming out. So we have to bump a. We're going to discard the Golbat. That's fine. We have Karen. We just don't have. I guess we should have Sky Turn last turn with a real shaman. That would have been great to maybe use uh, the draw and stuff. Here comes Disparate Ray. Okay, all right. So he's going to get a knockout. But we could potentially take a knockout on him. Uh, maybe. We have to get fairly lucky here. All right, so 120 damage. Go discard that, that Guardian with the 170 damage on it. All right, so uh, let's see what happens this turn. So we'll send a Mew. I mean, Pikachu. Can we take a knockout or not? So in our turn, we get a Ultra Ball. All right, so put a DC on this guy. Yo, DC that guy. Skyfield. Do we have any more Shamans left? No, other Shamans discarded. Okay, so what we're going to do is be a Seeker. For Karen. Alright, so we're to Karen. Put everything back into our deck. Come to me, Karen. Alright, so put our Pokemon back into the deck. We will put down... Okay, press done. How many DCs have discard ball? Just one, two. Alright, so we're going to Ultra Ball. Discard Golbat and Raichu. We'll grab a Shaman. Alright, we have to fill our whole bench to take a knockout this turn. So grab Shaman. Put down Mew. Put a Raichu in the active. Shaman set up for five. And can we find two two base Pokemon off this or not? So yeah, well, Shaman set up for five. Can we find two base Pokemon or not? And we got it. Yes, yeah, so we'll grab that Pikachu. We'll grab a Love Ball. Grab a Zubat. And we'll take a knock out this turn. Okay, there we go. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Just take me just took me a second. So grab Zubat. Use Circle Circle for the knockout. Do 106 damage to that Mega Gardevoir. All right. So there we go. Go down to four prize cards. Okay, so we find a Devil Spray and a Pikachu. All right. So my opponent, he has discarded one Mega Turbo. And looks like he has... Oh, he has, he has the other Karen. He has the other guard. He's back to his deck now. Thanks to our Karen. Okay, so he's going to go down to four. Um... Yeah, it's gonna be interesting for sure to see how this how these Axio turns gonna how they're gonna end out. Uh, we did not get the bayonet unfortunately, which might have been really good right now to draw to. Because once we get bayonet down, these these feelings feelings not work yet anymore. So a guard is guard is coming down, okay. <coughs> which is very unfortunate, very unfortunate. So Mega Turbo, oh my goodness, does he have both in his hand? Does he have both in his hand? If he does, we are in trouble. And no, just pass on to Archer, which is fantastic. So we'll put down right you. We will trainer's mill. Okay, not gonna grab anything. Uh, we'll DC this guy, and we'll circle circuit for 160. Yeah, we'll circle circuit for 160. All right, next turn we could take a knock on that guy, so we'll do 160 damage. I mean, he could maybe Mega Evolve this guy, Energy Mega Turbo, but that'd be crazy. He did not do anything the falling turn, which is great. He can take a knockout, but he's gonna go down to two prize cards. All right, there's a Mega Turbo. I'm going to put Energy on the back. And that's his third Mega Turbo, actually. So he probably doesn't have any more left. There's a Despair for the knockout. But we can knock him out immediately with this Raichu. And he has discarded how many Spear Links already? Uh, two Spear Links and third one in the Axe Pass. So he'll have to find a third one. So next turn, he could potentially win the game. He can license and bring up a Shaman, take a knockout, all that good stuff. So we will... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just put down... Pikachu, no, put down Zubat, and we will Circle Circuit for, unless Ultra Ball discard 1 and 2. We'll grab a Golbat. I think it's the best play to do. So grab Golbat, put that guy down, put 20 on the bench. We had third. We had three Goob, we had three Golbats, we have to get a knock on the active right now, but we don't. Or three Zubats, three Golbats. But we'll pick up this guy, put it, uh, put it in our hand, and we will Circle Circuit uh, for the knockout. Okay, going down 160. All right, so that guy has 150 HP left. So take two prize cards. There is a VS Seeker and a Love Ball. All right, so those are two good cards. We grab a Golbat, Golbat. Okay, so we can potentially win the game next turn. Here comes my opponent's turn. Can he find a Link, an Energy, Mega Turbo, and a Lysander? He has to find Link, Mega, Energy, Lysander. He has to find four cards with this five-card hand after he hasn't done anything. Oh, man. All right, guys. And there's a VS Seeker for a Sycamore. All right, so not a Lysander, so he cannot win this turn, but he can maybe knock out the active. Can he find a Mega Guardian or not? But we could retaliate for the knockout on that guy uh, for the following turn. So we're going to get Pokemon. Okay, there's a Fair Energy. Okay, that's, that's piece number one. He needs to find a Link, 
And there we go. The area of victory coming down. My opponent cannot win this game. Oh my goodness, guys. I did not think we'd be able to do that. But luckily, we were able to split that damage up between two of those guardies and take a win that way. Uh, I know it pre seemed pretty weird that we like split the damage that way. But as soon as he like bumped the other one, we could knock out the other one pretty easily and be good to go, which is a very weird thing to do. I probably played that matchup a little bit wrong, but like Sky Return to do weird things. But I really want to concern about Raichus and everything like that. I, I don't know. There's probably a better way to play that for sure. But guys, there we go. There is the Raichu Crobat deck. Even though we played against like one of the worst matchups, which is like Mega Guardi, because they can like discard the Pokemon we hurt, uh, we still were able to do that. Now remember, they're always taking knockouts on non EX Pokemon, so they're only taking one price card while well, you're always taking two, which is fantastic. But guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Main Deck Monday. Uh, shout out one more time to Matthew Brow for helping me out with uh, for sharing the list, uh, giving us a bunch of, bunch of insight on this deck as well. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.